It is. It is. We don't work. We just have fun and cook food and and make great TV. Thanks We're to trying. you and you. Well, and thanks. everybody in the valley that helps us out with this little thing that we do here in the test kitchen. We've had so much fun over the past few years. We have. And we're always looking forward to a new season. And we are. Especially when it brings some color and some freshness and my gosh, Aren't you ready like, for the green to come back into I am. our valley? Sabina I mean, actually says that when she's driving. She says bring the green mm -hmm. back because Just, I am ready for the spring colors, the smells, the smell in the air, the rain, all that stuff. Like it's new life. I agree. Spring is new life. So we're doing three great salads today. We're not going to make the, all the salads, but we're doing three great dressings. We're going to teach you how to make a cream-based dressing. We're going to teach you how to make a vinaigrette. And we're going to teach you how to make a low-fat dressing. And we're going to use xanthan gum. We're going to use vegetable stock to replace three-fourths of the olive oil. I have to say, all of your dressing, dressing making over the years has like given me a new ability to look at my condiments and be like, hold on a minute. What are we gonna pull up? Exactly. And like, what are we gonna make different? Yeah. And like that's just one great piece of lettuce, like bed of lettuce, and then you can like change it as, yeah. as you go along. But yeah, anyway, and we have some great lettuces. Like, Green City Growers up in Cleveland, Ohio, right. they've done a great job up there. You know, and our, our generous uh, vendor, Hillcrest Foods, gave us a great basket of beautiful salad greens because all of the greens come in living. And I really like that about the greens. They still, because they're, they're grown on aquaponds. Right. So they still have all the, all the, the stems and everything on them. You have to clean them just a little bit but it's just beautiful fresh crisp vibrant lettuce all right so start out with we're gonna do a uh, a bit of a cleanse that's a, yeah. a, a drink and i love this i think this yeah. is great because and you know I, what I, it's a great way it. to get your day started you know it's an easy thing to do for you and the family you can change it up okay. right now we're gonna do a ginger citrus um detox okay we're coming off winter we're feeling maybe like Let's we should good. get healthy again. I'm trying to get it. healthy again. So we're just gonna do some simple stuff here. We have some orange lemons and limes and some fresh mint and some fresh ginger. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna add some fresh mint and you can add whatever herb you like. Mint is especially good in these. We're gonna add some fresh ginger. We've cut up and sliced some ginger. Do we like you, you can squeeze so you, it a little bit, you don't not, have not to. Really? Okay. The one thing I do want to say is you don't want to leave this, the oranges in there for more than two days because right here inside of the orange or any citrus, this white that you see right here, that's called the pith. And the pith gets a little bit bitter after a while. So I don't think a gallon of water is going to last too long in your house. So this is a like great thing anyway. for the kids to build. You can do it with strawberries. We've been doing a lot here with pineapple water, you know, because those new waters that are out on the market hint and things like that. Well, she, uh, Sabina loves them, the water Oh, well, they are, but they're, they're a dollar good. a jar. No kidding. We're gonna build a gallon. They for are so what you expensive. Would, you, a whole gallon for about a dollar versus paying a dollar for 16 ounces. Now we have to put it in a juice box and you've got to, like, you got to we, Well, you know, our kids actually have their own infusers that they take to school it. with them. I love it. Yeah, put and as then, much or as little. Ginger is really a little bit bitey. So if you like, it can be a little bit hot, but I love ginger. I love it, too. especially if you're juicing and you need to do like beet and carrot and ginger together. That's all really, really, really fun. really good for your liver. So let this sit for about four to six hours, put it in your refrigerator, bring it out and you're ready to drink. And we're gonna drink that with our salads at the end. Love it, Mark. All right, keeping us healthy and uh, bringing us some some fresh some, colors for spring. Spring is just such an amazing season. I'm looking so forward to it. We'll be right back. We are back in Pesto's Test Kitchen, and my we are. goodness, we're gonna make some dressings because the salad looks amazing. It's it's waiting to be dressed. It really is. It's waiting to be dressed. You know what? I, when I when we do salads, whether it's at the Bistro, we do them here, or any of the other restaurants we've been a part of. When you go out to eat, you, so many often times you get dressing like glopped all over everything. Lettuce doesn't want that. Lettuce just wants to be lightly dressed. You know, it's a delicate thing. You don't want to overdress it. You don't want to wilt it, especially when we get to a mayo-based dressing Let over there. Let us tell you so, about lettuce. But we really want to have light dressings. It's supposed to accent the lettuce right. and bring out some flavor, not be a soup. Well, your vinaigrette, I have to say, people ask me all the time, they're like, what does he put on there? What are they putting on there? It's right here. We're making the bistro Finally. house dressing right here. It's right here. So okay. this is a vinaigrette. So All we're right. going to emulsify a vinaigrette because oil and liquid don't like to go together so much. You know, no, like fire don't. and water. They just don't mix. Men so and women. A, a lot of people do or don't know that mustard is an emulsifier. So we're going to use this mustard as an emulsifier. That's going to bring everything together and it's going to keep it together. So we're going to do that. We're going to add our beautiful apple cider vinegar. Okay. Some fresh parsley. Am I helping you just monitoring you? Yeah, sure, you? sure. Yeah. You, can put a, you can put that lemon juice. All right. I'll put a pinch of salt. Nice pinch of salt because you always want to season your, you put the scallions in. All of them? All of them this time. We're not making Rangoon this time, okay? Dumb. 
All right, so there we typically go. dressings are built vinaigrettes are built one third of vinegar in two parts of olive oil. But I'm going to sweeten this up a little bit. God, I love honey. Hey, you we know, have a bee guy. We have a bee guy. That bee Mike, guy. The, Mike He's the bee really guy. A good bee guy. Yeah, he, he really is. And so we have this great honey from him, and it is just this goldenrod honey is amazing. We're going to add a little bit of this goldenrod to counteract. You know, we want that umami thing going on, sweet, salty, savory All kind of thing things. going on. So now it's your turn. Okay. Whisk away. This Slow, is steady stream. Right. You want to whisk and just a slow steady stream, just like that. There you go, you're doing great. Oh, look at that. We <laughs> finally got a good job for more kids. Sabina would, Sabina would be okay, proud of me. Okay, you can drop the angle of that right. bowl now. You're good. fine. No, right. you gotta keep oh, stirring now. keep going? All right, I don't know. <laughs> That's I'm fine. I'm gonna mess it up. No, keep going. We have to add a little bit more oil. You can either do a figure eight, you can go in circles like you're doing right now. You just want to make sure you get it all together and it stays emulsified. Now, if you want to cheat, you can do this in a blender. It's going to break up the whole grain mustard a little bit, or you can do it in a food processor. I We're about like there. We you see how it's more. starting to get some viscosity to it, some texture? I would, okay. um, I think a Lauren Cam is necessary. Okay, right so let's give that a taste. Hey, my gosh. Aren't that was easy, amazing? wasn't it? Now, you can use extra virgin olive oil, and I like to use extra virgin olive oil. You can do some oil, some oils that don't have as much flavor, canola, grapeseed, whatever your dietary needs are. Give that a little taste. Mm. That's really? fantastic. Okay. All right. All right, let's move Perfect. on. We're moving. That actually tastes like your restaurant. I would hope so. That's what oh, we do. This next one we're doing, Ooh, that's very, we're going to make a low-fat version of this, a low-calorie version of this. We're going to substitute three-fourths of the oil for vegetable stock. Okay. We're going to thicken that with a product called xanthan gum. You can get this at grocery stores now, some retailers, and of course, you know our big box in the sky that delivers to everybody's house every day now. I know. Okay, so we're gonna add the vegetable stock. We're gonna add some red wine vinegar. Am I supposed to rinse this off? You can just throw it in the back sink. Okay, a little bit of garlic, because I love garlic in my Italian vinaigrettes, I really do. And you can add some salt. We're gonna add some overnight tomatoes to give it some flavor, depth of flavor from those tomatoes. And xanthan gum, is a commercial thickening agent. You can use it hot, you can use it cold. It's gonna stabilize things, it's gonna keep the emulsion going. It's gonna keep everything together. So you have to do, you have to do it while it's moving? Yes, though? so okay. one teaspoon can thicken one cup of liquid. Liquid. So we're gonna add about a half a teaspoon of this, and you can whisk that together now. Okay, perfect. Oh if you can bring my olive oil back oh, right over I, there. I moved it, I shouldn't <laughs> That's have. okay, Sorry, that's right? okay. And now we are gonna just use one, one quarter of the amount of olive oil in this. And you're gonna see after a few minutes, that's gonna thicken together. Now you can do anything in this. You could put fresh parsley, fresh basil, fresh oregano, mint, whatever kind of flavor profile you oh like from herbs. Doesn't that smell good? Doesn't that smell great? Wow. Did we put pepper in it yet? I don't think so. Okay, we're gonna put some pepper in it. I'll, I'll stir while you do the okay. pepper. And as many turns or as not turns as you like. Like when I write recipes, I put like five or six turns. That means you go around the loop five or six times. Okay? I like to go around the loop at least like 11 times. Uh, okay, 11 times is good. You know what? Five or six times is good. You see how that's thickening up? <laughs> and that is all from the xanthan gum. A little bit goes a long way, and it looks like a thick vinaigrette. Yes, it does. It does. It's actually perfect. So we're gonna come back, we're gonna make the ranch dressing. This ranch dressing that we have at Bistro, everybody absolutely adores and loves. People say things that are like, they, they have the ability to like, they would drink it. And this. it's easy. You should put it in a to-go container should be and just like. So we are gonna add gonna move you some, down here, Mark, so that some heavy duty mayonnaise. Keep track of you. Okay, we're gonna add some heavy duty mayonnaise. And use your favorite brand. I, I would not uh, do the one that's more like salad dressing, which is my mom's favorite, but we're not gonna mention that brand. Uh, some sour cream. You could use light sour cream if you want to uh, reduce your calories, and you could use light mayonnaise if you wanted okay. to to reduce your calories. Buttermilk, got to have the buttermilk because it has that acid in it, and it really brings out the flavors of everything. So I'm going to have you slowly start to whisk that together because if you go too crazy too fast, it's going to be everywhere, and we don't want that. Nope. We're going to add a couple of different, we're going to add granulated onion. We're going to add granulated garlic. Some paprika. I feel like everybody around us is like watching me do this. And they are watching they're, me they're do they're it. They're making Fresh dill is the killer for this. And a me. little bit of sugar, okay? And I used a little bit of sugar in the raw. I really like that. And we're gonna add a nice pinch of salt. Because you really wanna season, again, you wanna season your dressings pretty well. Oh and at the end, we're gonna season that with a little bit of pepper. And now you can get a little bit more, more happy. You can All get right. a little bit more aggressive. Why don't you give me the pepper over there? Start adding some pepper. All right. Maybe just one or two, right? 
Yeah, as peppery or as non-peppery as you want. All right. And I think that looks great. I'm gonna give it a little finger taste. Ranch dressing, fantastic. Isn't that great? That will get any kid to eat any carrot, any well, piece of celery, anything. They will. Just I mean, the kids after there. school, they really like sliced cucumbers. They love sliced carrots, it's celery. so good. You know, and that's a great everything. dip for them. And of course, for their chicken tenders. You know? And what we're Can't doing is here, those. when we're so making great. our own dressings at home, we're controlling what goes inside of it. We're yes, controlling the ingredients. We're controlling all, we don't have any of those things that they put in there. All the big companies put in there. Right. You know, when you read the ingredient list, when you read the ingredient list for this ranch dressing, it's what, seven ingredients? It's pretty simple. Go yeah. look at his website, beast1907.com, for all of these recipes. Uh, please go make them and make your spring salads that much fresher, and we'll be back yeah. with our finished product in just a few minutes. Salad dressings, they all look amazing. Aren't they fantastic? I would put them all on one salad. How hard were those? Really? Not hard at all. And, and if you don't want to whisk, you could take a mason jar and shake it up. You can whisk. You can whisk. I can do it. Anybody okay. can do it. So again, we have, you know, Green City Growers, this beautiful, this is one of my favorites. We use the bib at the restaurant, but I wanted to use this here just to show this Cleveland crisp hybrid lettuce between romaine and iceberg, and it's just such a great crunch. So we're going to build our best-selling salad at Cobb Bistro, salad. which is the Cobb salad. All right. So we have our, our, our oven roasted beets. You can use pickled beets, whatever kind of beets you want to. So you can delicious. You could put this into sections if you want to, or you could just randomly do it. We're going to have our cherry wood smoked turkey breast that we have at the restaurant. Oh, delightful. Oh, I'm going to eat that one. Don't. You eat it. I'm Go good. ahead. Go ahead. And then our famous bacon lardons. I mean, we use lardons. I've been using lardons for a long time in my career, but big chunks of smoky bacon in there wonderfully. I mean, this is like a full meal. I know people are saying our, like, our salads are salad, like meals. They're like, entree size salads. Is... They're plenty. They're plenty to share. Um, avocado, you know, avocados, you know, because of the onset of, you know, yuppies and everybody, the avocado toast. It has driven the price of avocados through the roof. They're about a dollar a piece now. You know what? So, worth but they're it, Mark. so they're so worth it. You know, it's like nature's own oil. I mean, they really the avocado oil. It's so healthy for you. It's a good way to start the day. It's like you know, butter, but not. Yeah, you're gonna start. Yeah, it's I'm some hard boiled eggs as well. You said they were so expensive. I can't waste them. Uh, that's okay. All right. All right. We'll go back. Go back. Hard boiled eggs. Hard boiled eggs. And you can use hard boiled eggs, you can use pickled eggs, whatever kind of eggs you want to use, as many or as, as few as you like. We're going to have some white cheddar. I love the white cheddar to go along with this. And then some great tomatoes because great tomatoes are just fantastic. You know, we got the summer growing season coming too. up and I so look forward to it. Last year we had a little bit of rain in the valley, so this year I'm looking forward to it not being as rainy. Well, it's a beautiful rainy day today. I know, it is a beautiful rainy All day right. today. Okay, beautiful. Now we're just gonna make that gorgeous vinaigrette you made, and we're just gonna gently dress that. I don't hope I didn't dress your finger. That's okay. Perfect. Doesn't how, how good does that look, and how Better does that smell? Better than any nail polish I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I mean, this just looks fantastic. Oh my gosh, you guys, how about this? This yeah. is fantastic. So you have your salad there. I am just having, you know, when you just want something simple, a light little salad. You just have some beautiful greens. We have some red oak, some green oak here. We have that beautiful low calorie. Look at the viscosity though. You can't tell that that was made with vegetable stock instead of olive oil. Oh, you can. Three fourths vegetable stock. It's really beautiful. Yes. Yeah, so we got those beautiful overnight tomatoes in there, which is going to actually, you know, serve as some of the garnish for the, the salad. But look at how beautiful that is. Absolutely fantastic. Now the ranch dressing again. Ranch dressing goes great on any salad. We're gonna have a bite of the salad. I, I can't wait to taste this detox water. I was gonna say, this is really, a, a, first of all, a beautiful conversation piece and it very, is. very healthy, so cheers to you. And it's very interactive with your family and the kids to build it because you can put apples, you could use watermelon, berries, isn't that great? Oh, it's really Picking good. up the ginger, you're that picking up the- That water, they yeah. don't have anything on you. Here's a hint. <laughs> and we're saving a lot of money. Nothing against right. hint water. I know they delivered no, to your do door. And we're actually advertising for them right now. Please send a free case, thank you. We love it. My wife loves it. <laughs> This so cheers to some great salads. And cheers to the spring season and uh, another great year with you. And I'm Absolutely. Gonna, I'm, gonna eat this, I'm going this for a piece of turkey. Avocado if you don't Go mind. for it. All right. Everybody, we look forward to another Test Kitchen episode.